The market is a global market. Every element that we produce, either as a product and services, need to be better than the Koreans. The Koreans are making it because they produce products and services. They treat the market as the global market. You cannot just look at just Malaysia market. Stock markets do not like uncertainty. Uh, and if there had been uh, either a Pakistan win or a sort of hung parliament situation that would have resulted in uncertainty and the stock market would not like, have liked that. However, uh, with the current result, you now have economic certainty. With that, you will have a continuation of Pamandu's good work, or I should say very good work, uh, and that provides that certainty to the market, and hence uh, you have seen uh, markets go up. While we all agonize internally in Malaysia, um, actually the rest of the world is looking at the Malaysian economy and saying this is all pretty good uh, because you have consistent GDP growth, you have consistency in earnings, and actually now you no longer have political risk. So hence this is our view on the Malaysian stock market, actually it will move up and continue to move up because it is now in a very uh, exclusive global club where membership is now sort of Philippines and Thailand and Malaysia and uh, maybe Indonesia, but that's, that's throughout the world, we're not talking Asia. Uh, there are few places uh, in as good an economic shape as Malaysia is now. At the time, 2009, our fiscal deficit stood at 6.6%. We cut it down in 2010 to 5.6%. In 2011, we cut it down to 4.8%. In 2012, we've cut it down to 4.5%. This year, the commitment is to cut it down to 4%. So the track record is we've stuck to the promise to cut the fiscal deficit over four consecutive years. Let's revamp, improve our education system. We have an education blueprint because the core for making sure that the talent pool for the next generation will stand shoulder to shoulder with the best talents in the world. That cannot happen when we don't have an education system that provides a competitive, hard, solid, talent that we have for the future. To my, my mind today is for the future of this country rests solidly on an education system that will deliver students that are better and better and better than many, many other countries. So now we have a program under the NKRA to make sure that we open as many preschools as possible in Malaysia, and which we did. And so we've now put it up from 60% to already 70% in the last couple of years. We hope that we can reach now access to preschool uh, in a couple of years from now to 90%. So that's key. The foundation is absolutely key. And we're monitoring the literacy and the numeracy using cohort one and cohort two tests. And we see some positive results coming out from this. But there is no shortcut. You got to take, it's a long drawn process to do that. So uh, the bedrock for all this begins with a robust education system. We got to make that right. And not for us, but for the future generation, for our children and great-grandchildren. That's how you build great nations. Thank you.